Hello everyone, you are watching Game Union TV. Today I want to talk about exporting your Blender assets into Godot engine. Both engines are completely free, so you don't have to pay any royalties even if you are making some sort of commercial product. As you see, I have this TA-152, it's a World War II airplane. So I hope to export everything, including animations, light, camera, model itself and its textures from Blender to Godot in a couple of clicks. I'll give you a hint, it's not going to work out. You need to export it with better collada. It's external plugin and I'll give you the link down below. So here is uh, C program files, Blender Foundation, Blender 2.79 scripts add-ons. The link is available in the description. So get it here and copy the, this file IOCNDAE into IOCNDAE. Just like that. Then open Blender, go to user preferences, uh, add ons, and uh, call. Nope, call Lada. Here we have Better Colada Exporter. Just activate it, save user settings, and you will have this amazing option Better Colada. So, actually, I've spent a couple of days just testing which way is best for me, and for me, the best, I guess, is better Colada. So, I'm gonna use it. Well, empty is for animations, camera is the camera lamp, is any light you have, armature is, well, your armatures, your bones, mesh is actually all of your meshes, and curve is a curve. Selected objects allow you to copy only selected objects. I don't need this at the, mo at the moment, but actually there are three settings that allow you to copy separate objects from your scene. This is by the type, this is by the selection, and another one is active layers. So actually it copy only active layers or only selected objects or uh, only specific types, and all of them can be combined so you can copy only really specific objects from your scenes. If the scene is really big, it's gonna be useful. Oh, I don't need this as well. Uh, triangulate, no, I'm, I'm gonna leave it uh, like this, because uh, Godot actually works with triangulation itself. Copy images, I'm gonna try this, but it's not working for me. Instead, I have to copy them manually to the folder. Active layers, mm, well, okay, active layers. I don't need this well, but I'm gonna keep it this. Yes, exclude uh, control bones. I don't have bones, but well, okay. Let's export animations and let's export all actions. Optimize keyframes. Well, well, I don't need this to be honest. Um, shape keys. Well, I don't have shape keys right now. So let's let's make the export. Well, just copy it. Let's go to the, the scene itself. Well, as you see, I have TAE file, but I don't have any copied textures. As you see, I have it here and it's still working but I'm gonna stop the animation. I'm gonna save the file and probably gonna close it. This is how it looks in the engine. Uh, actually, my materials are not PBR at the moment, but they're gonna be in the Godot. So let's close it. I have it here. Let's try to open the scene. It's a DAE file. Uh, and you inherit it. So you can't open, you can open the scene, but the best way is to inherit it, to create Godot scene instead. Let's save it as uh, airplane scene. Let's save it here. So I have airplane and can use it once again. As you see, my rotation actually uh, uses the center of the scene. It's not really comfortable for me. I'm gonna hit F key while selecting the airplane itself so I can rotate around it. It's completely black in my case. Well, it looks awkward. Why it's black? I mean, why, why, why? Because I don't have proper material setup. I have aircraft material, blade material and rotor material. All of them well named properly, so I'm not gonna mess it up. Uh, actually, I have metallic value of 1, but to be honest, it's not 1 at the moment. Instead, it's really, really more than 1. This is why it's completely black. If I'm gonna play, make it 1, it's not gonna be black. It's gonna be sort of, well, all metallic and look awkward still. So, as you see, the model itself looks as expected, but we don't have any proper set of materials, and we have to do it manually. 
once again. Let's go for export. Yeah. Here are our textures. Airplane albedo, airplane metal, and airplane normals. So we have, uh, if you're gonna use uh, the real life project, you are not going to copy your images straight to your core of the core folder of the project. You're not gonna do that. So you're gonna have folders for textures, you're gonna have folders for scenes, you're gonna have folders for scripts and for shaders and so on and so on. But for this case, we're just gonna use this uh, core folder, the root folder, and we're gonna do this. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's a metallic value. Let's use the metallic value instead, okay. Here is our metallic value. It's properly set up, so let's wait a bit. Okay, we have this as our metallic value and we have to set it to something like 0.8, I guess. Okay, the speckle is gonna be almost the zero, but we need to set up the roughness. Well, I'm actually gonna use the same metallic map for it. It's not the proper way you do it, but I don't want to make another map to have something like this. Now it look a bit better to have shiny textures but no color. Uh, in PBR workflow the basic color is called albedo. Oh why it's so dark? Yeah, it's so weird. But I have a, this really simple answer for you. Uh, everything you have here gonna be multiplied by this color. So you have to set it up to completely white. So it's not gonna be multiplied by any color. It's gonna be just, well, as is. Look how it looks now. Amazing, we have this shiny cockpit, we have shiny metallic parts, and it actually works almost as expected. Uh, so it's really, 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 really nice. We have all other nodes we need. For example, here is our camera. So we're gonna launch it now. We have, yeah, the airplane itself. We need to set up all other materials as well. So both materials are not actually set it up. First of all, we need to make it like, I don't know, seven roughness into something like this. Uh, it's gonna be really, really, really metallic shiny uh, and the color is gonna be a bit lighter I'm gonna use something like this I guess okay um, let's go for another material and this is our metallic again as you see when I just touch it it's still being absolutely metallic like I don't know it's more than one I guess so it's totally broken for me while importing and exporting. I, I spent a couple of days trying to fix this, but well, it's not working. So let's use the color, it's gonna be almost black. Yeah, well, it's gonna be this black. And let's use uh, roughness. Let's set it up to something more. And we're not going to use that much of it. But we need a couple of more tricks to, to make. Uh, right now, as you see, when we load the scene, it's not animated. And I don't have any actions, to be honest. I have this default animation that is copied from the timeline. So, right now, I have this default animation. And somehow it's not working. Well, this is because I need to select autoplay animation. And actually, I need to rename it into idle. Um, so autoplay, I need to set it up to be played while we load up the scene. So right now you have the properly set it up scene with the camera, light, the model itself, UVs of this model, its animations from the timeline, properly copied with the export. I hope it was helpful for those of you who have been confused. And thanks for watching, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.